four teams announced changes to their team principles ahead of 2023 season in a 24-hour period, demonstrating how quickly Formula One lives up to its reputation as a fast-paced sport. Following the revelation of Mattia Binotto's retirement, Frederic Weiser's long-rumored move from Alfa Romeo to Ferrari as a team principal was officially announced on Tuesday, sparking a flurry of activity. One of the most skilled and talented individuals in motorsport is Weiser. For the past six years, he has served as the CEO and team principal at Sauber. He joined Formula One in 2016 when he was named Renault team manager but quit at the conclusion of the year. Weiser's accomplishments in junior single-seater racing, however, are much more noteworthy. When Fred Weiser teamed up with Nicolas Toad, the son of former Ferrari team owner and FIA president Jean Toad, they created ASM, which eventually changed its name to ART. In the 2000s, the team won six Formula 3 Euro Series championships. Amazingly, the team won eight of nine GP3 team championships given out in 2010s. The degree of talent that Weiser staff draws in and nurtures is incredible. Grand Prix winners Charles Leclerc, George Russell and Valtteri Bottas, as well as future F1 champion Lewis Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel and Nico Rosberg have all competed for ART and their route to the top division. Will Ferrari win an F1 World Championship under Fred Weiser's direction? I am not sure he possesses the requisite training and qualifications. However, Sideria Ferrari has a number of structural flaws that the team's previous managers haven't managed to fix. It will depend upon whether or not he is given the free and opportunity to make the adjustments or if he ends up being blamed for yet another disappointing season. The Frenchman is moving to Maranello to replace Mattia Binotto who submitted his resignation last month. Ferrari is anticipated to make the announcement soon, even before it was officially revealed that Binotto was leaving. Weiser's name had already been brought up in a relation to the top Ferrari position. What reveals McLaren soon after McLaren would reveal that Andrea Seidel was resigning from his position as team principal to succeed Weiser as the head of Sauber Group, which owns Alfa Romeo and will become Adi in 2026 following an agreement with German automaker. The move comes a day after Williams revealed that Jost Capito would be stepping down as a chief executive and team principal after two years in that position. The British team also confirmed that promotion of executive director Andrea Stella to take the Seidel place. Seidel's decision to join Sobor as a chief executive rather than the team principal leaves only Alfa Romeo and Williams without a team principal for the 2023 season. Ted Kravitz of Sky Sports F1 joined Sky Sports News to analyze the changes and explain how they will affect the following season. Ferrari's maneuver is crucial. They are the ones who will compete to win the championship over Red Bull next year. I believe they have a suitable substitute for Mattia Binotto in Fred Weiser. Weiser has won races and championship with his own team in lower formula. However, he hasn't competed in F1 yet. He speaks Italian because he had experience with Alfa Romeo, Sober, a Swiss squad with Italian funding. Additionally, Charles Leclerc, Ferrari's major title contender and star is someone he is acquainted with gets along well with. They already collaborated at Sober, therefore I believe it to be a smart option and an appropriate choice for Ferrari with Weiser replacing Binotto. They can only genuinely hope that Frederick Weiser is still around to finish the job. The key question is whether Ferrari will continue the team bus merry-go-round that we have witnessed in recent years. Weiser is after all the fourth Ferrari team manager since Stefano Domenicali left in 2014 which is a lot. I don't believe Charles Leclerc is casting any doubt on his past connection with Binotto when he says that he and Weiser get along well. However, having someone with whom he has previously worked and competed can be only beneficial. The 54-year-old began working for Sober in July 2017, not long after new investors including billionaire Finn Rosing acquired the company. Andrea Seidel's choice to accept the position was undoubtedly influenced by Sober's team switch from Alfa Romeo to Audi. That is not to say that he wouldn't have been interested in driving for Alfa Romeo, but Audi will be a legitimate works entry rather than just a sponsor in Formula 1. Thus, he has led the team for five and a half seasons. 
The past four of which have been done so with Alfa Romeo as the primary sponsor. The team's best performance in 10 years came in 2022 when it placed six in the World Championship. Wacer's leadership was crucial in the sale of sober organization to Audi, which will compete in Formula 1 under the revised power unit regulations in 2026. Before the Audi full takeover, Wazer found it difficult to resist the allure of managing Ferrari rather than staying sober through three interim seasons. The group released a statement in which it paid respect to its outgoing leader and expressed how much they would miss him. Fred Eric Wazer leaves a group strengthened by new partners, a developing personal and a promising future as the work group for a manufacturer is not too distant future. The group said he leaves as a friend, a mentor and a boss who understood how to get the best output out of his staff. And as we begin a new chapter in our team's history, we will miss the laughs and jokes he would elicite while making the rounds in our Henley HQ. Thank you Fred and good luck you have our support wherever you go next. Wazir emphasized how much he had loved his time with the team, implying that it had served as an excellent practice for his upcoming position. I can look back warmly on our six years together. As I get ready to compete my adventure at Alfa Romeo, he remarked. Frederic Wazir leaves a group strengthened by new associates, a booming team and a promising future as the work group for a manufacturer is not too distant future, the group said in a statement. Andrea Seidel, a German who is familiar with the brand and has prior experience working for the VW group, will be in charge of automobile and the engine. In addressing the departure of their team manager today, McLaren offered a brief aside in which they claimed to have known all along that Andrea Seidel would quit for Audi. The rest of us were taken back because they were portraying themselves as a happy family, but it appears that they were all aware that it will occur in 2025. It makes sense for Seidel to depart early, given that Freder Wazer's departure to Ferrari has merely sped up the process. It does, however, imply that Seidel will have a decent let-up to be able to get the sober squad ready to transition to Audi full-time in 2026, which is also understandable. The huge unknown Andrea Stella is this. He is an Italian who previously served as Kimi Raikkonen's engineer for Ferrari and is currently the team manager of McLaren, one of Ferrari's oldest F1 competitors. Many people are raising doubts about this, saying hold on this is not a diet in a wool McLaren person or this is not someone who, if you could cut them, they'd bleed McLaren and who has spent their entire working life as a member of the working team, what's happening? But well, he is a well respected with McLaren, has taken on a growing number of managerial positions over the years and is well liked by the team drivers. They believe it will succeed, all we have to do is to trust them but the McLaren team boss has a significant responsibility. The team managers of Formula 1 were once referred to as the Piranha Club by Eddie Jordan. If so, then welcome to Piranha Club, Andrea Stella, I wish you luck since I believe you will require it. There are three ways to find them, they already have William employees and Williams also employs some capable individuals, such as Andrea Stella at McLaren who would advance promoting the inside is always beneficial for the morale of the organization. Thus I believe, Williams already has a few deserving candidates who they may not have been aware of. They might not be well, well known, but you might say Andrea Stella wasn't well known before coming to the manager of McLaren. Then there is the issue of poaching from other F1 teams, which Williams has stated they are investigating. They want to know whether there are any local engineers or managers in other teams who they would be interested in hiring. Then there is a the practice of poaching team managers from the other championship. Team managers from the World Endurance Championship, Formula E and Formula 2 are all viable contenders for the Williams team manager role.